is Angeline. Mm. I'm something you have to feel. Something you have to experience. If you really want to know, you have to come with me. Angeline is a mysterious woman who became famous in the 80s when a series of billboards popped up around LA with her on them. Who is Angeline? Angeline! The more you don't know, the more you want to know. It made you want to find out who this person was. So the show tries to answer the mystery of who she is and whether or not the mystery should be answered. Who are you? Our story spans 60 years, from 1959 to 2020. And then the bulk of the scenes play out as memories. There are points in the show where a character will have a different remembrance of what happened, and you'll see both versions of it. It gives you perspectives of everyone, and then you choose how much you think is real and not real. Angeline is a series about identity, about mysteries, and what mysteries do to us when we can't solve them. There's a playful exploration of who LA's most mysterious cult icon truly is. Angeline! It explores how she goes about getting what she wants and how all of this is a reflection on her own relationship to fame and transformation. Why are you famous? I'm famous for being on billboards. The first time I saw an Angeline billboard, I was 13 years old with my mom on the way to an audition, and I just saw these breasts and this hair. I think the first time I saw her was driving around LA in her pink Corvette. A car is supposed to be an extension of you, your being. I want something fast. When I first saw Angeline, I was like, who is that? And people were like, we're not really sure. She created herself through a very poignant myth of Hollywood and glamour that we keep sort of coming back to it like moths to the flame. <sighs> At long last, <laughs> Angeline. There was an article that came out in The Hollywood Reporter in 2017 that suggested that they had cracked the mystery of who is Angeline. Hello, this is Rick Krause, and I work for Angeline. Please take me off of speakerphone. You're not on. Uh, yeah, sure, no problem. The article served as the initial inspiration for the show. The story shed light on how complicated and dark this person actually is. What I found so fascinating is she rejected that article as being her truth. She kind of writes her own rules. She came here on a bus from Idaho. Or from Ohio. <gasps> or she hatched from a spaceship. <gasps> She's an alien wildly contradictory stories and does nothing to correct the record. Angeline is always in charge. Emmy worked tirelessly on movement and voice. <gasps> the little hand gestures, the way she walks. The first time that I put on all of the prosthetics, I was kind of liberated from any fear because it was no longer myself. You look different. <gasps> Angeline is ultimately a power struggle between Angeline and everyone else in her life who seeks to define her. This is my story. Don't you dare try to make it about you. Your opinion about her, I think, reveals more about you than it does about her. The people need Angeline's truth, which is larger and pinker and better. There is kind of a magnetic pull to the stories that Angeline tells about herself. Her version of the truth is a lot more fun. If you want the story of my life, it's on a wall at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. It's hard to miss.